Hi, I'm Ashley and I wanted to share some things that really helped me work through some of my own personal issues in 2019 with some of my girlfriends. So I thought I'd make a video and uh, let you guys know where uh, I've been throughout 2019 and, and where I hope to go. Um, starting in 2018, I really had to take a second look at myself. I was uh, heavier weight wise than I've, ever, than I've ever been and I seemed to be more unhappy with myself physically and where I was at in life more than ever before. Um, as I started to take another look at myself as to what was wrong and how to fix this problem, I started to find that I, I had a lot of really unhealthy coping mechanisms. A lot of things that I turned to, uh, food that I turned to when I felt emotionally needy, unsatisfied, excited, nervous, socially awkward, sad, I needed a reward. I turned to food for so many unhealthy things. With that, I, I gained a lot of weight. So starting 2018, I started a keto diet. A couple months in, I had lost a lot of weight, but I had really recognized that this was not something that I could just keep up. I'm, I'm very inconsistent, so it's hard for me to even think about doing something so consistently for such a long time. So keto was something that I, I couldn't figure out how to keep the momentum going. As I tried to take another look at myself, I had to be really honest with me, with some of my own habits and, and where I was at emotionally. I continued to go through these cycles emotionally dependent on my circumstances and where other people were at around me. And it began to become an issue because I started to let my emotional state dictate where I was at, who I was. So 2019 became a, a year for me where I really took a look at myself. I took a look as to why I did what I did, who I was, and who I was trying to, to be. As I did that, I really started to study scripture with a new excitement, really, to see it wasn't just this story of something that happened a long time ago, but really Jesus was modeling who it is that we are made in the image of God and that he was modeling through that through his life and through his death and resurrection and that that gives light as to who we are today. So join me as I share with you some of my uh, breadcrumbs is what I call them and they're breadcrumbs that bring me back from an emotional cycle or uh, circular thinking or obsession to truth, who I am, who I've been created to be and what that means today. Starting January 2020, I am going to start sharing a breadcrumb a day that things that's really helped me and helped me create new, healthier coping mechanisms that really just help me to focus on who Jesus is.